I guess it would be a great tragedy for any Christian to go through what Jesus said in the Gospel today. That is, to see, to look, but not see the work of God in us and around us. To hear the voice of God and not understand. That would be really very tragic. Because Jesus tells us that to be able to see His work is to be converted to Him. To be able to hear and understand His words is to share in the healing that He brings. So it would be of great tragedy really for us that we look and not see that we hear and not understand. In a way, this is what happened to the Hebrews in the story of Exodus. No? So for several days now, for a couple of weeks already, we have been hearing the story of the Hebrew people in Exodus in the first reading. No? Tuloy -tuloy po yan. In a way, that is the experience of the Hebrews. That even after parting the Red Sea, even doing this great miracle, that they were able to cross the Red Sea, still they continue to complain. They see, they look, but did not recognize the work of God. Even when God brought them manna, bread from heaven, they continue to complain. Even when God brought them water from the rock, they continue to complain. They look, but they did not see the marvelous deeds of the Lord. They still worship other gods. And they heard. No, they heard from the Lord through Moses. What the Lord wants from them. They heard from Moses, from Aaron, and later on from Joshua. They hear, but they did not understand. They continue. To fail in fulfilling the covenant they had with God. My dear friends, this we should be watchful of. Kailangan po tayo maging mapagbantay. Because it is possible, yes, it can happen. That the wonders of the Lord is among us, in front of us. And still, we do not see. Every day you go to Mass and you hear the Word. Maybe even after the Mass, on your own personally, you continue to reflect on the Word of God and you hear the Word. But do we really understand where the Lord is leading us? There may be hindrances or obstacles. That continue to blind us. To, that continue to make us deaf. To the word of God. To the works of God. And we have to examine ourselves. And always pray. And always pray. Asking the Lord for help. That we always look and see. That we may always hear and understand the wonders of the Lord. The will of the Father. Where 
He wants us to be. Amen.